So let's go back to the beginning. How did Vi first get involved with music? I started playing the organ at a very early age, and then I uh, mutated to the guitar. I always, everything that I do on an instrument or what I do when I um, write music or perform is very natural to me. And I thought it was very natural to everybody. You know, if I could, if I sat and played something, I thought that every guitar player would play it. I never thought I'd ever really amount to anything in the, in the scheme of things because I thought everything I could do, I'm sure everybody could do. But the one thing I didn't realize is what I was spending 10, 15 hours a day learning how to do it, you know, and uh, it was just a neurotic part of my uh, personality when I was a kid, I guess, that caused me to just sit there and play until I was blue in the face. But one of the things that really enables you to express your special talent is having the, the nerve to do it, having the courage. Sometimes uh, I believe that the most uh, special things that a person does comes from their intuition. And everybody has an intuition like that of sorts, and that's why we all have some type of special gift. At least this is the way I feel about it. Steve Vai was discovered by Frank Zappa and got another break thanks to guitar hero Ingve Malmsteen. A funny story is uh, Alcatraz was out on the road and Ingve had just left the band and they had this major show coming up. And um, he, uh, his fans were, were like hardcore at the time. This was when he was coming to fruition. And um, I remember I was walking out on the stage and nobody knew that Ingve wasn't in the band. I had learned the whole show in one day. And uh, I'm walking out and I hear Ingve, Ingve. <laughs> so it was a unique moment, you know, to say the least, when I got on stage. It was great though because it was a type of situation you don't get in very often. So I was savoring it, actually. I mean, it was a lot of humility and, and a lot of pressure, but it, I was actually getting a, a, a kick out of it, you know? And uh, when I went on stage, mouths dropped to the floor. Uh, I consider it a, success, a successful gig because nobody clapped, but nobody left. Vi's contribution to David Lee Roth's sound and success is evident. Inspired by competition with Eddie Van Halen, maybe? No, you see, I've been going through that my whole life. You know, from even from the Zappa days when um, it was, you know, uh, Adrian Ballou was in the band and I took his place, or Warren Cucurullo, and then um, Alcatraz with Ingve, and then uh, David Lee Roth with Eddie Van Halen, and and then, you know, um, Whitesnake. Now, I can't really be bothered by, by that. I would be miserable. I would never be able to do my job. You know, I mean, I've never, I would be so apprehensive. Can you imagine? Edward Van Halen, I mean, he's one of my favorite guitar players. He's fantastic. You know, what he's done for the guitar. I would never try to diminish that. And I would never try to compete with it. I just do what I do. And kids will pick up on that. And they'll just know that within 10 minutes, you know, this is what this guy does and that's what this guy does. I get my best results that way, you know. I'm always trying to better myself as a musician when somebody comes along who is capable of doing things beyond what I can do or I just find it as an inspiration you know I would be a fool if I competed with the people who I uh, have replaced <laughs> from David Lee Roth that was on to Whitesnake and now his solo album Passion and Warfare and whilst the guitar sounds are distinctive are they deliberately so no what I would do is um, just do what's natural to me you know um, if you, what you play, what you play or what you create is what you are. You know, it's just a reflection of your personality. Um, I really have no choice. You know, if I, if somebody says, well, play this solo, you know, here's a eight bars, play a solo. I, I just have to do what's natural to me. I've got this weird tweak in my, um, in my personality that's maybe a little, uh, it's got a, a little bit of a, of a comical edge to it or an absurdity to it. And I always put that into my playing. That's sort of a a trademark of sorts, you know? But um, that's what I would like to hear in a guitar solo, so that's what I put in a guitar solo, you know? Each song is a chapter now in a novel that I'm writing. And it's, it's, it's real interesting, it's real fun. There's no holds barred, you know? If there's a, if there's a certain um, situation I'm trying to depict, it's not like it has to be censored for MTV or censored for television, you know? It goes into realms of, of fantasy, you know, it's like, it's, it's a very colorful story. It covers the gamut of, like I was saying, talking about lust, but, you know, then again, anger, uh, humility, devotion, you know, it goes on. It's really interesting.